it's quicker, they can complete it after they start working, we are more likely to produce a generation of people who want to do more research. But to make everybody jump through the same hoop, I think is old-fashioned and counterproductive. Speaking as somebody who runs, has run a department in a university for 10 years, you know, I shouldn't be saying that, but my experience is that it is not helpful to make it the way it is now. Uh, I think case studies. Um, one, of my other, one of my other jobs is to be a member of the regulatory body in New Zealand. And we, we have um, given provisional approval for um, students or graduates to be provisionally registered when they are clinically competent and then to have up to three years to complete a piece of research. So they become licensed, they work, they earn money. But I think, you know, there are, there's a, there are at least two dancers here. You can do a master's in dance or in film or in acting. You don't have to produce five kilos of paper. We need to be more flexible and more creative about what is a good outcome and the way it is measured instead of, you know, well, that, that's not heavy enough, do some more. <laughs> <laughs> Does that answer your... Okay, yeah. What was the general response from the medical field of those 10... Um, oh, they... I, I, I was really conscious of the time thing, so I took some slides out, but um, Armand mentioned the bibliography for the, the World Health Organization document, and it is predominantly American, which is not good. There are, there are three journals I know of that are um, up there in the peer-reviewed um, group. There's Manual Therapy, there's the Journal of Bodywork and Movement Therapy, and the, journal of, the International Journal of Osteopathic Medicine. But they all have low impact factors. They, do not, they are not heavily cited. They, they're not widely read. And, and so, um, in England there's a thing called the RAE, the Research Assessment Exercise, and in New Zealand we have PBRF, Performance Based Research Funding. And the university receives money according to the scores of research outputs. But if you work in nursing or osteopathy, the, the journals are down here. You know, compared to physiology, which is up here, or, or psychology, which can be up here. So they are, they are tiny. And um, when Bianca was talking, um, if you want to build a house, I made a note, if you want to build a house, you look forward to seeing a house. But you start by digging, you know, until you find something solid. And in osteopathy, we're still going down because we still cannot agree whether something is rotated or not, whether it moves or not. We, we cannot, we have no, we have had students do research on cranial osteopathy looking at heart rate variability. Really well designed studies and we are still, we're still looking for valid, reliable measures. We're still going down, really, aren't we? Yeah, but, but in, in terms of yeah, yeah, that's right. right yeah, the foundations are getting more solid, but we haven't actually done anything that people drive past and go, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what we, that's what we want. We want the other professions to drive past and go, wow, look at that, shit, those osteopaths. <laughs> but at the moment, they don't even see anybody digging. <laughs> <laughs> 